Hey, this is Dr. Tom Rogers at Performance Medicine speaking to you today from the Knoxville Clinic um, with a wonderful guest, really not even a guest, newest member of the team, Robin yes. Riddle. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Robin Riddle is a nurse practitioner with a lot of experience, and I've come to know her over the last several months, and what I'm amazed at is... Not only how smart she is, but how practical and knowledgeable she is about the stuff that we do. She's, she's really focused on integrated medicine. And what we mean by integrative or functional medicine is we try to get to the root cause of your problem. And we don't just throw a pill at you because we label you with having a disease. We actually want to find out why you have that and to reverse it. And even better yet, just prevent it so that you won't come down with diabetes, heart disease, cancer. We focus a lot on nutrition. We battle against obesity. We evaluate and treat hormones in a safe and effective way. And I know, Robin, you've been doing this for years. Um, and welcome to the team. We're so well, glad thank to you. have you here. I'm I, so happy to be here. You know, <laughs> she's from Johnson City, so... That's my hangout. You know, we have a great <laughs> clinic in Johnson City as well as Kingsport. And we've been in Knoxville for the past 11 years. I actually practiced in Oak Ridge for 15 years before uh, moving yeah. back to the Tri-Cities, which is my hometown, Kingsport. But in any event, um, so she's a local girl and just a wonderful person as well. I, I've known her dad for years, as a matter of fact. <laughs> he was a patient. But anyway, um, I want to talk to you today. Robin about peptides. It's yes. something that we've used for several years and you seem to be just very very knowledgeable in peptides. I'm a huge yourself, fan yourself. of peptides. Peptides <laughs> are short course, short scientific lesson. Peptides are really just a short string of amino acids that act as kind of a signaler to another part of your body whether it be a hormone or enzymes to perform an action. It's, it's kind of like a protein, but a lot shorter, yeah. um, easier broken down. Proteins provide structure. Peptides, I think of more as an actor or a signaler to another part of your body. Now, you're very knowledgeable about peptides, <laughs> and I'm going to kind of quiz you a little bit oh, about no, no your pressure. favorites. And, <laughs> okay. of course, we've been prescribing Samorlin. Some people pronounce it Simorelin. <clears throat> yep. I say Samorlin. I say Samorlin as well. <laughs> um, that's probably the most popular one that we use on people. Yeah. Talk to me a little bit about peptides in general and why you like them so much. So peptides are great for anti-aging. Um, you know, there's a bunch of different ones to target different things that you're wanting to do. Um, there's peptides to help burn fat and build muscle. There's peptides to help um, re recovery after surgeries or repair ligaments. There's um, peptides that are great for your skin, like wrinkles and that kind of stuff. Um, there's peptides to make you tan. There's all kinds of peptides. Um, so I feel like there's pretty much an option for any patient to help them get towards their goals. Um, it's also a great thing just to take long term, keep your growth hormone levels up, keep you looking and feeling great. So I've used a bunch of different ones. Samorlin is a really popular one. It's been around a long time and it's really good for boosting those growth hormone levels. You get some faster muscle recovery. So if you're working out, you know, you, you bounce back a little bit faster afterwards. You do get um, some fat loss with it, uh, much better sleep. People usually say they sleep like a baby whenever they're taking Samorlin. Um, but there are other options too. And there's some more potent ones out there that are available too, just to like ipamorlin or teslamorlin, a little bit more yes. expensive, maybe a yep. little bit more potent. I agree with yeah. you. Um, One of my favorite blends is ipamorelin or ipamorelin um, with CJC1295. It is an awesome blend. Um, you're definitely going to see, you know, body composition changes with something like that. It's a great adjunct to diet and exercise to really get you towards towards goal body composition. Um, but also, like I said, it's just good anti-aging, keeping those growth hormone levels up. 
That's right. You know, growth hormone works very synergistically with testosterone, for yeah. example. And again, men and women both need testosterone. Yeah. I had an interesting case today, which I won't talk too much about, <laughs> but and a female in dire need of testosterone. But it seems like through the years, we've always known that growth hormone and testosterone work fantastically. As you know, testosterone is an anabolic steroid. Growth hormone is more of a repair hormone, you know, and the, re the recovery from a workout or daily life is as important as the workout phase, as, yeah. as everybody knows. But um, the thing about growth hormone, it's not really legal, so and it's prohibitively expensive anyway. I mean, Correct. I don't know many people that if they could get it, um, you know, you probably could go underground and get it. I know people have done that, but it's so expensive, and you, you can't really trust it if you went underground. You should never do that. You should never <laughs> you inject yourself with <laughs> anything that no. uh, I've seen some stories and. Uh, you wouldn't believe the disastrous yeah. consequences they have. So you need to, you know, go to a U.S. source that, and not order your peptides over the Internet. But yeah. um, I certainly think that growth hormone, although it's really a great anti-aging hormone, besides it being too too expensive, illegal, it also can cause potential problems. It can yeah. definitely pop your blood sugars up. I've seen that. It can cause carpal tunnel. And say you had, um, you know, a, a growth or a tumor somewhere you didn't know about. Theoretically, it could make it grow faster. So it certainly could be a lot more dangerous. You know, the peptides certainly don't have that risk. And they yeah. won't shut down your own pituitary axis either they Which have no effect on that thing about them you are just amplifying what your body wants to do naturally so you know when you're younger you've got awesome growth hormone levels again just like your hormones are higher when you're younger all that we're doing is sending a stronger signal to those cells to tell them to release what we want them to release again and different peptides work on different pathways so like i said the ipamorelin and cjc work really well together because they hit two different pathways to double signal. So you're mm -hmm. getting a much stronger pulse from those. That's that's certainly one of my favorites too. Um, you know, the first peptide was actually insulin. I think it was 1922 that the insulin, I'm interested because I have two type one <laughs> diabetic kids that have been on insulin since they were little. But actually the first peptide that was made was insulin. And ins that insulin pathway is so important to our overall health. Absolutely. When I always look at insulin levels in people, and half of what we do is try to get people leaner and stronger yep. and aging better. Yeah. You know, really, you have to kind of know what you're doing with anti-aging. I really don't like to call it anti-aging. I'd rather call it gero protection as you age, protecting your body from the ravages of just time. I yeah. mean, you know, our bodies tend to break down, and that's what we're trying to do is we're in this continual state of build up and repair, whether it be our muscles, our bones, our brains, yep. our skin. You know, we all want to look young of and, <laughs> and all and be vibrant and healthy and energetic. I think the two most common things people come to see me for are really any doctor. Either they're tired or they hurt. Mm -hmm. And these are two things that peptides can certainly they address. Definitely you still can. need, to, you know, nutrition's number one in my yeah. opinion. And <laughs> Nothing replaces that. <laughs> exercise and then sleep and stress management. And then very closely is hormone treatment. I consider, I use the peptides really to affect the hormones. Yeah. Um, is that kind of how you think of it? Definitely. I really like to do them in conjunction with hormone replacement therapy because you're just going to get better results out of everything that you're doing with that. Um, and, or, you know, for people who have really high inflammation, use an anti-inflammatory peptide to kind of bring things down too. Or so gut problems. Gut problems. BPC-157 oral is amazing for helping the gut. There's even been studies with it used in Crohn's and IBS to help people repair gut health. Um, so it's all about knowing which peptides to use and how to use them appropriately. I agree. That I think Digest Shield followed by BPC-157 is one of the best combos out there Absolutely. for repairing guts, leaky gut, which can advance, of course, to ulcerative colitis, Crohn's, um, and then you're more at risk for colon cancer with those mm -hmm. inflammatory conditions. Really, what you're trying to do 
as you age is try to keep inflammation out of your body, try to keep insulin levels under control. Yep. And as you age, it's really tough because, you know, unfortunately, as we age, we decline. And we decline because our hormones decline. It's not the other way around. We decline particularly because yeah. those hormones go down. It's like nature saying to you, you're finished reproducing, start dying. <laughs> and the problem is we're living a long time. And we need to live happy and healthy. We need yeah. to still feel like doing the things we want to do. That's right. We, we like to call it lifespan, not you know, yeah. health. We like to call it lifespan, not age span, because and, and lifespan is how long you live. Um, healthy aging is how long you feel great. And yeah. that's certainly what we're aiming for. Let me ask you a couple questions okay. about, you know, we know that um, melanotan, is a peptide that can protect your skin against sun. Mm -hmm. That's certainly a great one that we've used for a while. Um, you know, that's one that you don't want to use in certain people. You have to know what you're doing when you do these things because Absolutely. say somebody had a lot of dysplastic nevi on their body, which are dark and moles, which puts you at slightly increased risk for melanoma. You look at their body and make sure they don't have a ton of those on there. You know, they could get darker. Even a family history of melanoma, and I'm the perfect example of that. I wanted to try melanotin because I'm like, this is awesome. I'm a pale redhead. I can't be out in the sun. Um, so why not take this and be tan, protect my skin. This will be great. Never had issues with moles, but I do have a family history of melanoma. Being the provider that I am, I'm like, whatever, I'm good. Um, within four weeks on melanotin, I had a mole that had a plastic changes that I had to go get removed and will not be able to take it again because I don't have the right background for it. Um, so that really emphasized to me the importance of not only the patient's history, but the family history because there is a genetic link with melanomas. Exactly right. That's so. such a good point. Um, there's another one that's closely related to melanotan. Um, I like melanotan two over one. It's a little easier and yep. a little lighter, but um, that's PT-141. It's now that's been FDA approved, yeah. the first treatment for women's libido. So yeah. we've used that for a few years and it seems to work pretty well on on men and women. It's great. It comes in a nasal spray too. I don't know if you knew yep. that, yep. but yeah. So that's a really yep. awesome one as well. Um, tell me about this copper one. I'm interested. So there in is a copper peptide, um, GHKCU, that is available in a bunch of different forms. Um, and it's awesome in every form. It just depends on what you're looking for. So if you take it as an injection, it is really good for inflammation and healing in the body. So it's awesome for bringing down that inflammation. Um, if you use it on your skin, it's really good for wrinkles. It helps hyperpigmentation, dark spots, sun damage, all that. And it comes as a foam that you can put on your hair and helps receding hairlines, helps stimulate wow. hair growth again. Wow. So I think there's a lot of use, use for that. We, we do a lot of work yeah. with hair thinning and restoration. You know, we do PRP injections in the scalp. To, yeah. And it really does regrow your hair. So um, put some copper peptides on top of that. That is yeah. an awesome idea. I think I'll start doing that with yeah. my patients. Collagen peptides, everybody knows they work on your skin. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think of some other peptides. Oh, beta thymosin, you know, is a really good one. Yes. You can actually inject it into an injured area yep. and let the patient actually go home and inject it. And it really heals things up so fast. I took a course uh, a couple years ago with Dr. Seeds, a well-known orthopedic doctor in California who teaches peptide courses. I learned okay. a lot from him about, and he's come to a lot of our meetings uh and about injecting, you know, tendons and things and sore spots yeah. to heal faster. I think he was a doctor that uh, worked with the Dancing with the Stars and got them, when they get injured, back into action very soon. People recover so much faster. And actually, post-op or immediately post-injury, using something like BPC-157 injectable mixed with the thymosin beta, the thymosin beta helps bring down the inflammation. And with the healing, BPC-157 is great for tendon and ligament healing. So the combination of those is awesome. People trying to avoid surgery for like a minor tear or something like that, cycle something like that for a few months. And there's been a lot of studies that have shown really good progress and healing after something. Because we're all, as we age, I'm 66, I know, I'm 
I'm a lot, lot older than you, so I, <laughs> I feel it. I can identify with this kind of thing because, you know, I get up, my joints are stiff. I, yeah. I've been an athlete. They're kind of a lot of wear and tear on this body, and I want to keep it as lean, flexible, and not hurting as much yeah. as, and less inflamed. So, you know, we're always looking for the holy grail with – with pain and stiffness as we age. And the other thing, of course, is energy Absolutely. that we want. And, you know, you, there's stuff available out there that you're not going to hear from your regular medical people. I mean, this oh, yeah. stuff is kind of like Ben's show. It's kind of outside the box, but mm -hmm. it's definitely legal. You know, it's sourced. Yeah. It's it, We're not doing anything that's ever going to be illegal or And very and little true. risk of side effects with them. Um, you know, it's you're, it's not something you're going to overdose on. Your body uses the amount at once and just flushes out the rest of it. Um, so, I mean, the biggest thing I've seen people, if they're doing the injections, like a little bit of redness or irritation at the injection site the first few times. Like with any injection. With any injection. Um, you sleep amazing with them. So sometimes, it, for me personally, when I take higher doses, I don't want to wake up the next morning is my problem. Sleep like mm -hmm. a baby, don't want to get back up. <laughs> interesting, interesting. And sleep's one of those things you don't know this yet you'll find out someday but if you're, my, <laughs> if you're my age you'll know everybody my age has sleep problems yeah i mean i i don't think i know i can't count on one hand how many of my friends tell me they get a good night's sleep it's just something as you get older you do not Happens. sleep like you used to sleep um so anything that will help you sleep where you where the growth that's why you give your your samorlin or ipamorlin at night before you go to bed because mm -hmm. that's when your growth hormone surges and that's when you're actually your body's repairing itself as well as your brain so you do dose it at night and it does tend to help you sleep uh, when all that repair is going on I'm trying to think of any other peptides that i'm really fired up about um those are definitely some of my favorites there's a lot more of them out there depending on what the patient's looking for. So there's some more specific ones that I definitely can dive into. Um, there's an oral um, MK677 is one of them that's really awesome that you take as a pill. It's not an injectable form. And it's great for increasing stamina and endurance with workouts and putting on more muscle. So there's, there's all kinds of options. I can really tweak and customize depending on what a patient's looking for. I love the fact that you're a peptide expert. I'm going to call you the peptide expert. And I'm going to put you in charge of performance medicine peptides. Awesome. Okay? No pressure there, right? Yeah, I mean, you know, <laughs> she has a lot of experience. She's a wonderful provider. And, you know, we're going to be talking a lot more about peptides in the future. Definitely. And certainly, I learn something new every day. You know, that's what's, that's what's so exciting about this way we practice. It seems yeah. like to me, since I'll went and got board certified in functional integrated medicine every day is is a new day a new day of learning a new challenge i'm 66 years old i'll never retire because <laughs> i enjoy it so much helping people That's you're helping yourself part. if you're yeah. helping other people yeah why would you retire if you can give to other people i mean that's kind of why we're here and that's it? why i love what um, i do um you are a wonderful provider and person <laughs> well, as you. well and welcome to performance medicine we're thank so you. blessed <laughs> to have you here and it's just a, a blessing again for us to welcome robin riddle to our team and that's i hope it's many many years of um, I'm hoping when I'm 90 years old, you're treating me for, you know, <laughs> there we go. my we'll crankiness keep you feeling great. and the way I hurt, you know, <laughs> stiff and all that. So I appreciate you coming and, and especially today talking about peptides. Well, thank you for having me. <laughs> um, come see us at Performance Medicine in Knoxville, Robin Riddle. Thank you. We'll see you next week.